According to Diary 300, Jesus said, Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Jesus said, Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Jesus said, Mankind will not have peace until it turns with the trust to my mercy. Promises to the devotees of divine mercy. Jesus' words spoken to Sister Faustina between the year 1931 to 1938. From Divine Mercy in My Soul, Diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalsaka. The Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. So this is the first promise that our Lord Jesus Christ gives all who say frequently this prayer of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Say unceasingly the chaplet that I have taught you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to the sinners as their last hope of salvation. Even if they were a sinner most hardened, if he were to recite this chaplet only once, he will receive grace from an infinite mercy. I desire that the whole world know my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those souls who trust in my mercy. Promise number two. The souls that say this chaplet will be embraced by my mercy during their lifetime and especially at the hour of their death. Promise number three. At the hour of their death, I defend as my own glory every soul that will say this chaplet or when others say it for a dying person the pardon is the same when this chaplet is said by the bedside of a dying person god's anger is placated and fathomable mercy envelops the soul and the very depths of my tender mercy are moved for the sake of the sorrowful passion of my son. Number four. My mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. All those souls who will glorify my mercy and spread its devotion, encouraging others to trust in my mercy, will not experience terror at the hour of death. My mercy will shield them in that final battle. Number six. My daughter, encourage souls to say the chaplet which I have given to you. It pleases me to grant everything they ask of me by saying the chaplet, when hardened sinners say it, I will fill their souls with peace, and the hours of their at the hour of their death will be a happy one. When they say this chaplet, in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person. 
not as the just judge, but as the merciful Savior. By your entreaties, obtain for them trust in my mercy, because they have most need of trust and have it the least. Be assured that the grace of eternal salvation for certain souls in their final moments depends on your prayer. Number nine. Number nine is a promise that is obtained, especially at the hour of mercy, which is at three o'clock. At three o'clock, implore my mercy, especially for poor sinners. And if only for a brief moment, immerse yourself in my passion, particularly in my abandonment at the moment of agony. This is the hour of great mercy for the whole world. I will allow you to enter into my mortal sorrow. In this hour, I will refuse nothing to the soul that makes a request of me in virtue of my passion. I remind you that as often as you hear the clock strike the third hour, immerse yourself completely in my mercy, adoring and glorifying it. Invoke its omnipotence for the whole world and particularly for poor sinners. For at that moment, mercy was obtained wide for every soul. In this hour, you can obtain everything for yourself and for others for the asking. It was the hour of great grace for the whole world. Mercy triumphed over justice. Try your best to make the stations of the cross in this hour, provided that your duties permit it. And if you are not able to make the stations of the cross, then at least step into the chapel for a moment and adore in the blessed sacrament. My heart, which is full of mercy, and should you be unable to step into the chapel, immerse yourself in prayer there where you happen to be, if only for a brief moment. The image of the merciful Jesus. On February 22nd, the year 1931, Jesus appeared to Sister Faustina in her cell and requested her. Paint an image according to the pattern you see with a signature Jesus, I trust in you. I desire. 
that this image be venerated first in your chapel and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth and especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. Sister Faustina tells us in her diary, under this date, in the evening when I was in my cell, I became aware of Jesus clothed in a white garment. One hand was raised in his blessing, the other was touching his breast. From the opening in the garment, at the breast there came forth red and pale rays. In silence, I gazed intently at the Lord. My soul was overwhelmed with fear, but also with great joy. After a while, Jesus said to me, Paint my image according to what you see with a signature. Jesus. I trust in you. Sometime later, our Lord again spoke to her. The pale rays stand for the water, which makes souls rushes. The red stands for the blood, which is the life of the souls. These rays issued forth from the depths of my most tender mercy, at that time when my agonizing heart was opened by a lance on the cross. Fortunate is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of them. Trust. Trust is the vessel for drawing graces. The graces of my mercy are drawn by means of one vessel only, and that is trust. The more a soul trusts, the more it will receive. Souls that trust boundlessly are a great comfort to me because I pour all the treasures of my, gra my graces into them. I rejoice that they ask for much, because it is my desire to give much, very much. On the other hand, I am sad when souls ask for little, when they draw, when they are narrow, when they narrow their hearts. Your duty is to trust entirely in my mercy. My duty is to give you all that you need. I make myself dependent on your trust. If your trust is great, then my generosity will be without limit. The soul that will trust in my mercy is most fortunate because I myself Take care of it. The graces of my mercy are drawn by means of one vessel only, that is, trust. I therefore encourage you to trust, trust, trust. 3 o'clock prayer of divine mercy. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you.
Mary, Mother of Mercy, and our Mother, praying for us, St. Faustin and St. John Paul II, pray for us. Amen. Amen. Amen.